Hello guys, in this video we will be knowing different types of matrix band and today I will be demonstrating how to place ivory one matrix band. Although there are different types of matrix band in the market, ivory one is a good to know. Matrix band are especially useful when, when they are to restore the class 2 cav cavities. Uh, for example, let's imagine 4, 6 has a mesial occlusal cavity, mesial occlusal cavities, and we have prepared a cavity for, we have prepared tooth for a restoration. Now, how will we place this uh, tuffle my or how will we place the matrix band, I will one matrix band with this, uh, through with the help of this retainer to restore four six. First, uh, there are three sizes. There are three sizes available uh, in the market. Uh, that is small, which I, I can use for anteriors, medium size, and the large one, which are good to be used in case of molars. Now, since our the tooth of interest for us is uh, four six, so we'll take this. Uh, see, for the visual aspect, uh, let me show you how does this work. Uh, this is a this is a one type of matrix band retainer. Uh, although this type of retainer has become old, the mechanism how it works is uh, pretty good to know. Uh, there is, it is not as complex as Toffelmeyer retainer having two screws and uh, and uh, all and this one could be handy sometimes now how does this work if we turn the screw turn this knob the pincers the, the, the uh, pincers of these tofel mire uh, this tofel mire look like uh, the pincers of a crab and as we turn this screw, the, uh, the pieces of the, the hands of the, the crab, they close together and then they tight the uh, band. To so, for example, I have and it has holes, the, this, the band has holes uh, of different sizes at the different distance from the midline. The band has holes from the, at the different distance from the midline so that we can adjust the placement of this band as required. For, uh, for now, let's take the third band. Now, let's see very carefully that as we clear, as I Tighten the screw clockwise, tighten the, the pincers come close together and then they tighten this, uh, tighten the band. And undoing it will loosen the band. Now, and they, uh, when we see from this side, what we can see is that it is not very really straight and it, it has a special shape so that the, the band can be placed as uh, gingerly as possible. There is this curvature which has a uh, soft gingerly extension which will fit easily uh, for the soft gingerly extension of the class 2 cavity, class 2 phase. Now, let's approach this as our patient and the placement of uh, this matrix band should be such that the pincer part, the open end should go below and the screw end should come outside the mouth of the patient. Now, let's choose this the larger size which can be placed over here. 
involved in the proximal cavity on the major side, the band should be placed at such first bit uh, on over the one side. And the next. And remember, uh, in the visual side, the direction of this band will be opposite to that of the pincers, that of the open end, and closing the square will tighten the band. Remember, the tip should be placed fit internally so that the patient will not fit. Uh, the so that it would approximate easily and it is tight and now ready to be restored. Now, let me show you today on the distal aspect of mandibular second premolar. Here, the placement of, on the distal aspect, the placement of to the band should make a circle. I remember it being a D. distal. And as you can see and after this you can place matrix band to pull this to tight and while removing first you can remove this remove the angle one retainer and then the band and the restoration is complete. Thank you.